Hey everyone, so on February 10th, 2015, we finally, we finally got the release of Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown on DVD. Now this is a title that people have been requesting for years, and for some reason it just has not been released on DVD. Of course it's been on VHS, you know, for a long time, but obviously out of print for many, many years, and so it's really, it, it has been really hard for anybody to get a copy of this of this movie for a long time just because it hasn't been available it's been out of print has not been released on DVD so it's it's really good that it's finally on DVD and uh, so this video is going to be kind of a review and kind of a rant about how this was released but overall I am really happy just that this this is on DVD because we've been waiting for so long and so first of all I think I'll just show you guys what we get here and this was a surprise I actually I picked this up at Target and I wasn't expecting this to come with a slipcover so I was really surprised when I walked into the store and saw this with a slipcover and uh, it looks very nice and I was gonna pre-order this on Amazon and on Amazon they just showed the picture of the case and that's it so that's why I wasn't expecting the slipcover and uh, when I first looked at the picture on Amazon I thought huh you know uh, I liked the artwork on the VHS tape better. It was it like showed that uh, the river and, and everything and it showed like the background and everything instead of just this kind of plain white background. I don't know if anybody... I don't have the VHS tape anymore for reference because I got rid of it right when this DVD was announced but anyone who knows what VHS from Paramount that I'm talking about it, it was a little bit more colorful but uh, compared to this kind of plain white background. But actually when I saw the slip cover at Target, I was like, okay, so that's why they did it because they made this really nice embossed slip cover. And of course you probably wouldn't be able to do that with a very extensive background. And it actually looks really, really nice. So this part's embossed. Everything that you see is embossed and it just looks very nice. So they really did a good job with this slip cover. And I'll show you the spine and the back. And if you look at the back artwork, this is a lot more colorful. Nothing's embossed on the back, but it's very colorful and looks very nice. Uh, there's the movie description if you want to read it. And look at that. Looks very nice. Very nice artwork on the back. And the disc is made in Mexico. One disc. 1977 so this is a pretty old movie color and this this is the part where I start ranting a little bit widescreen version enhanced for 16 by 9 TVs uh, this movie was originally created and I, I think it was created in 4 by 3 full screen format so they cropped this they cropped it for widescreen TVs, so basically they cut off a portion of the top and the bottom of the original, the original movie, and so so they could make it widescreen, basically. And uh, that's just one of the things that I really, really don't like about some of these modern releases of older movies. Why do they have to crop it to widescreen? Disney has done it with um, what is it, Mickey's Christmas Carol, and other titles. And it's just, why can't you just leave it in its original aspect ratio? Because, I mean, we, I mean, it really, when you watch it on a widescreen TV, if you haven't seen the full screen version before, you're not going to really notice, I don't think. It doesn't look terrible. And even despite the fact that it's cropped, I'm still very happy to have this. And I'm glad that they released it, even if it's just widescreen. But for the collectors out there who have been watching this video, since you know since they were kids like me you can definitely tell the comparison because parts of the top and bottom of the original movie are cut off and you can't see them in this so i wish they would have just stuck with the original aspect ratio and the fact that they didn't really grinds my gears so and just for comparison Paramount also released A Boy Named Charlie Brown and Snoopy Come Home on DVD. This has been out for a long time. And they also cropped these two movies as well. And actually, just before making this video, I popped in Snoopy Come Home. 
and I watched a uh, part of it and they actually have the intro still in the original full screen because obviously, you know, if you were going to crop the intro, some of the words like, you know, telling the, the people who were in the movie or whatever, the voice actors and whatnot, they would be, their names would be cut off. So I think that's why they decided to keep it as full screen for the intro. And then after that, it abruptly goes to widescreen. So they cropped it. They cropped both of them. Um, and this is released by Paramount. The interesting thing uh, with these peanut specials, most of them, most of the rights to them have gone to Warner Brothers, even though they used to be with Paramount. So here's an example of one that I just got pretty recently. He's your dog, Charlie Brown. Uh, that is a Warner Brothers release because apparently Paramount kept the rights to the four, I think the four Peanuts movies, which are A Boy, a boy Named Charlie Brown, Snoopy Come Home, and Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, and Bon Voyage, Charlie Brown, which we still haven't seen on DVD yet, but I think that one is coming later in 2015. Uh, and the Peanut specials have gone to Warner Brothers, so here's a title uh, just for the sake of comparison that Warner Brothers has. But anyway, Paramount, for whatever reason, they, I mean, I guess maybe to appeal to the younger kids who don't want to watch a full-frame movie with the black bars on the sides, you know, I don't know what the deal is, but they decide for these Peanuts movies, they're going to crop them to widescreen and uh, really wish they wouldn't have done it just because it would it would have just been nice to have it in its original um, aspect ratio. But otherwise, I will say... Uh, the look of it, it says first time on DVD, digitally remastered. The quality is an improvement definitely over the VHS. It looks much more crisp and, uh, you know, it just, it, it looks better on HD TVs and all that. So it's nice that they did some work to it to make it look nice. Uh, so let's look at the actual DVD case and they chose a red case, which is interesting. I'm not sure why it's a red case, but it looks good. Um, maybe just to match with the red um, colored print there. I don't know, but it looks good. So red DVD case, and then here's the back. And basically the same thing as the slip cover. And inside, pretty boring. There was no inserts or anything. And we have a pretty boring gray DVD. It says Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown on it, Peanuts, and all that. So pretty boring inside, but it's the content on the disc that's important. And the movie does look good, despite, that, despite the fact that it's in widescreen. And the other thing that it has on here is a theatrical trailer, which is pretty cool. I don't think that was ever a special feature on any VHS release or anything. So it was pretty cool to watch that. It's like three minutes long or something. So that's that's the one bonus feature on here, and that's about it. And, and yeah. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you guys this. Very happy that it came out. Not too happy about the cropping. But overall, I'm very satisfied with this. It looks great. And it's just, it's really great to have this on DVD because a lot of us fans who've been, you know, we've been, we've been begging to have this released on DVD for many years and for whatever reason they just haven't done it. So it's here. So go pick up Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. At pretty much every store I've seen it, it's 10 bucks, something like that. I paid 10 bucks at Target. Amazon's 10 bucks. Walmart's about 10 bucks. So a pretty good price. Um... Like, if they would have done something like make a two-disc set with one version widescreen and one version full-screen original for, like, 15 bucks, I would have bought that, like, no matter what. So I don't know why. I don't know. That, that just, the cropping really bothers me. But really, it's just great to have this. And hopefully, I think it's kind of unofficial right now, but I, I think that Bon Voyage Charlie Brown is going to come on DVD later this year, so... Hopefully that happens as well. It'll probably be the same type of thing as this, which would be pretty good with a slip cover and everything, at least I hope, because it looks very nice. So anyways, guys, if you like this movie, I definitely recommend picking it up. Very nice. And that's about all I have to say about it. So thank you all for watching. 
and we'll see you in the next video.